Tommy, game's coming thick and fast and we've got a, a big trip this weekend to York City, haven't we? We have, it's the last away game of the season. Um, we're travelling up on the Friday, so you know it was always the intention and we've managed to get to where we are. We just needed a final push, really. So at the end of the day, it's the next game in front of us, so therefore it's the biggest game of the season. Um, but for no more reason that it is the next game, as far as I'm concerned. So our approach has been very similar to the, to the other four games that have been in charge here. Um, and yeah, we'll have a head count at the end of the of today and we'll, we'll be going up with the 18 or 19 fit players with a bit of luck. As you said, um, after the game on Tuesday, you know, Ollie was missing and we were missing Tyler and, and Ollie Pendlebury as well again. But you said they're getting near, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're very near. I mean, they've worked hard with Liam um, and Adam and his group. And, you know, ultimately they've, they've not missed that much football. So they're going to meet when, when they're medically cleared they'll be fit enough to play football. So I'm hoping that one or two, or maybe all of them, um, could be available for the weekend. But if, if it's not for this weekend, then I would have, if I was a betting man, I'd probably bet they would be, they'd be all okay for next Saturday. But at the end of the day, we need fit and, and able bodies for this weekend. It's a massive game for us um, because it's the next one. And we'll be looking to add to our tally. It's obviously nice to have given ourselves that little bit of breathing space to, uh, at this late stage of the season. But, you know, I know that you say, as, as you said just then, it is just about the next game. But with York, you know, who are now below us, does that kind of motivate the side and, and yourself a bit more to, to really, you know, push on on Saturday? Well, I hope not. I hope, I hope, I hope I'm motivated enough going into every game. At the end of the day, we're, you know, if, if, if and when we do get... Um, clear of the dreaded trap door, then I'm not going to look at that and celebrate about it. I mean, it's, it's an achievement to stay in the division, but it's not the kind of achievement that I want to be known for. You know, at the end of the day, I left a situation where the group that I left were likely to go and either win or certainly end up in the playoffs of a, of a competition and that, that's successful season. So, you know, I think this football club can do better. Um, and I hope, and I'm really planning on on it being at this level at least. So yeah, there's no no dressing it up. We're, we're in a situation where it isn't done. People shouldn't think that we're safe. It's not It's not that at all. I would, that's disrespectful to the teams around us, above, above and below. And we've got to work really, really hard as a group in the next two games to make sure that we take control of our destiny, nobody else. When I spoke to you on Tuesday after the game, I genuinely didn't know what the scores at the other teams because I'm not interested in them. And that's not, again, I'm not disrespecting them. I can't affect them. I can only control this group. So, so far, my return has been really good in the four games. I want the same out the next two. Well, that's it, isn't it? You know, you say you can only control what we do and, and we stand here and after four games in with you in charge, we're, you're still undefeated. So that must give the group a bit of confidence as well. Um, yeah, I hope so. And there've been different kinds of performances, but all of them have shown something consistent in that that we've never give up. We've we've kept going to the end of every game, and that's really important. It's it's something that you know you, if you look on a on a match day at any league, so many of the games are won and lost in the last five or ten minutes of the game. So it's important we do that. So far on all four match days, there's never been a, a glut of um, results gone for us. So if that happens. And we don't get it done, but somebody else does, and I'll take that. But it, ultimately, we want to be in control of our own destiny. And that means if we go and add a point or more uh, up at York, then we will have achieved what we've, in the short term, set out to achieve. And, you know, it's a, a much further journey for them, but we were really backed superbly on Tuesday night, weren't we? Oh, yeah, brilliant. I mean, the, the two away games we've had, the, the fans have been excellent, as they are always at all. Um, I'm used to travelling a lot longer distances, we, you know, and I'm, I'm sure, um, relatively speaking, this is still as long a journey as most make in, the, in any season, any club at this level. So, yeah, it is, but I believe the last time and only other time that the, the club stayed overnight uh, for a game was up in the North East and they had a positive result up there. So, let's hope uh, Lightning does strike twice. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.